Hey everyone, welcome to Stand Up Analysis. I am here with Colby. We're going to be analyzing a set he did on his show at Crossbar. Colby, anything to say on the opening? Any context to give for the show? Um. Uh, so I am closing out the show. Um. I'm trying to think context. Context. Uh. Uh. Oh, I know. I know most of the people in the crowd. Uh. This is all like friends, family, friends of friends, right? Um. So it's like a, a very biased crowd in my favor. Uh, sure. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all the content, right? Cool, great. I'm sure we'll, we'll find more as we go along. So, yeah, let's see what's, what, what worked, what didn't work, and maybe how, what we might have changed and what yeah. decisions we made along the way. <laughs> I've also checked. There's no bucks in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, how are we doing tonight? <laughs> Uh, can I ask you guys a question? Okay, great. How do we feel about this first? And I know we were like also hosting, so it's not really our intro moment to the audience. We're sort of like coming in with other ideas. But your thoughts for like this being the beginning of at least this this set as we see it right now? Mm. Um, I uh, thing is, I feel a little weird about it because I, um, to be honest, I I had just followed up another comic that it was like a very low energy comic. And had kind of like serious uh, topics that they like tackled and stuff. So I was like, I'm kind of for uh, play say I'm digging myself out, right? So yeah. I'm like, I don't want to come on and be like, hey, haha, hoo, right? So I'm like, ah, let me, let me, let me match that energy and drive us. So I'm like, I don't know. Ah. Yeah, I so I used to I used to end all my I used to I don't know think I was like a, a motivational speaker and I'd end every all my stand up bits with some heartfelt message and every comedian that had to follow me hated my guts for it because I'd be like yeah we do need to be better we need to make change and like be better for ourselves and be better more holistic people and the audience would be like yeah and the next comedian I'd be like okay poop jokes. Uh, so, like, I, I, yeah, 100%, I agree with the instinct of, like, we have to resolve this, like, okay, wholesome moment, now let's, like, palate cleanse, and let's, like, yeah. go into something sillier. At the very least, maybe even call it out, like, that was very that was very inspiring, that was very hopeful. I'll get to some of those things, but can we be silly for a second? Go, everyone, go with me. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's chat, smart. Like, I like that. Yeah, chat's like, take some cat pictures out. Have you seen my cat? Oh, he's so silly. There's like real and silly. I like that as a, <laughs> that as a move. But yeah, 100%, we have to do something because if we just started, the odds would be like... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck you. Whoever said I just did, go fuck yourself. <laughs> that guy sucks. <laughs> Great, I like that. Like, we're letting the audience input affect our output so they know we're not just a train on the tracks. Uh, I, I love that as far as, like, and and it shows that, like, okay, whatever that weirdness is with the first moment, if we felt it inside, as a, hey, we're cool, we're calm as a cu cucumber. Uh, we're, we're just, uh, you know, uh, going strong. Uh, and thank you, thank you, chat. Uh, uh, we, we we like the stream, uh, uh, A, and I try to, uh, I try to give some, you know, of my learnings from the years. And we got a lot of very talented comedians uh, in, in sort of like in the program, so to speak, doing laughter party. Uh, so yeah, yeah, happy to have you on board. Wait, okay. Matter of fact, show yourself. Who was it? <laughs> um, so, uh, but like, I, have you guys ever, have you ever been on fire? <laughs> you can answer the question, no, oh, yes. yes. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, <laughs> these are a lot of mixed responses. Uh, which is, why wow, I did this uh, question at the intensive care unit, standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm obviously I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, they can't stand. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll stop making fun of burn victims. <laughs> Okay, thoughts on that first joke. And the crowd actually came up with a, a button that you could use in the future. <laughs> what did they say? I didn't hear them. What did they say? They said, they said I see you. Like, I see you. Oh, I see you. I see oh, you. I can hear that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We can 100% incorporate that in the bit. Anyways, your first thoughts on anyone been on fire, which is both a joke and the setup to our next big uh, sort of song and dance number. Uh, I feel okay about it. I feel pretty lukewarm about it. I'm like, it's getting a good reaction. You know what I mean? But I'm also like, this kind of audience, I'm like, I think it's about as good as I'm going to get right now. Yeah. Um, 
you know what I mean? Just giving the vibe of the room. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll take it. Like, this is, this is, this is as good as it gets, I think, for me right now until, until I maybe ramp it up a little bit more. But I have to, like, warm them up to that. So I'm very, I'm very happy with the reaction with sure. this execution. I think. Great. Okay, here, let's go. Kind of playing with fire. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, I, I like I like that button of like the, the, the out button of like I'm playing with fire, just like joke on it, say call out the tension about like yes, these are dangerous jokes. Uh, uh yeah. and don't and don't worry, chat, I'm gonna let there's gonna be a huge physical bit in a second, so I'll let a more a longer stream of jokes happen in just two seconds. Oh yeah, but I I love that out button of like I'm playing with fire. Ooh, ooh, I just did it again. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay, uh, but to, wait, so who, who, raise your hand, who, who has been on fire? You, you've been on fire, you've been on, you guys have been on, there's like a lot of you guys. Uh, fucking, uh, who, who set you on fire? James. James. <laughs> Good guy, James. You close this guy, James? That's fucked up, man. Who set you on fire? Your friends, you can't have social circles, man. At least you got friends, dude. That's something to say. That's something to say. That's fucking nuts. Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel okay. So you guys know what to do if you ever. Okay, before we go into the joke, your thoughts on the sort of the playing with the crowd to like, hey, you you on you on fire? Who's been on fire? Yeah, I th I think it's good up until like the e end where I'm kind of like, ah, uh, oh, I don't know how to get back, how to get back on track, right? Sure. Um, and, uh, I think, like, it, honestly, if I just, like, leaned into it a little bit more, and I, I think if I just kind of practice getting out of my head a little bit, then I can, I can kind of, I could have maybe done, like, a little button and then gone back into the trip. I was like, hey, guys, at least you have friends, you know, pyromaniac friends, friends nonetheless, blah, blah, blah. Well, oh, sure. mature, go back into mature. You guys know what to do if you have a pyromaniac friend that's on fire. Now, then, then uh, it's, that's smooth and it, it feels comfortable, but I think... Yeah, it's a it's a little it's yeah, a little and, jerky at the end. And if we can make it tight with the audience playing, we'd be like, "Hey, I'm on fire right now! Ooh, oh, oh! This set is lit!" Like we can even call it like that way. Or like, "Oh, you burned that friend that set you on fire. You burned like there's like stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, uh, you burned those bridges that front. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. I, I guess none of you guys are on Tinder. <laughs> you know all those. Things. If you want to make it more hacky. If you ever find yourself caught on fire, right? What do you do? Okay, so fuck all of that. I personally <laughs> don't you guys think that stop is implied? <laughs> if okay, if I caught fire, the first thing I would do is stop whatever it is that I'm doing. I don't care what it is. Let's say, okay, let's let's take a, a, a wild scenario. Probably best case scenario to be on fire. Let's say you're in the shower. Right? <laughs> if there's a time to be on fire where it's not that bad, uh, you know? So, if I somehow caught fire in the shower, it's, I'm still going to stop and acknowledge the fire before I move on to conditioner. Do you know what I mean? I'm not skipping the first step of stop, drop, and roll no matter what. You physically can't if you try. Like, uh, I know so many people in this crowd. Hang on. Uh, I was looking for a random. You guys, oh, you, fucking perfect. Get the fuck over here. Uh, just in time to be like, get the fuck over here. Stand up. Get over here. Um, what's your name, buddy? Tom. 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 It's a pleasure to meet you, Tom. Uh, Tom, where are you from? Long Island. From Long Island? Oh, I'm from Long Island. What's good? Where are you Long Island? Garden City. Garden City. Oh, that's like Nassau County, right? Yes. Oh, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I actually, I grew up in uh, Suffolk County. Um, I mean, yeah. The sticks. You guys are way too excited about Suffolk County. <laughs> we all left Suffolk County to have fun today. <laughs> Respect where we at right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually, I went to Suffolk County uh, Community College. Don't move for that. <laughs> I got my stuff. Stop it. Uh, yeah, uh, but it was it was tough because uh, while I was there, I actually I went around and I, I you know it took me a couple of years to get my so that's what it looks like when you skip the first step of stop drop and roll. <laughs> if you just don't stop, it's I can't even hold the conversation. Thank you for coming up. You're you're you're, you're, you're okay. You can sit down. Let's <laughs> yeah, give it up for Tom. <laughs> 
Okay, your thoughts on the uh, calling someone up and then the full payout of stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I'm trying to put a pin in a few thoughts so I can... Yeah, it, uh, were you, were you, wait, think about it just for a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address something from chat. Yeah, to take someone on stage is a powerful weapon to release tension. Never thought about it. Yeah, and anytime we do crowd work, there's this, this inter- inherent tension about like, ooh, what's the audience going to say? Is it going to be all right? Are they going to play? Is it going to be funny? And so some, a lot of times just like by talking to the crowd and just making it okay, like, oh, what do you do for a job? Doctor? Like, oh, I've been to one of, the, of those before. Even something stupid like that. Uh, uh, will will relieve the tension and make it okay that the audience spoke, and we we'll usually get a decent laugh. So it's kind of a cheat code playing with the audience because they know that it's like live and oh, dangerous, and anything could happen. Uh, um, okay, so uh, to to your synthesized thoughts on your stop, drop, and roll joke, and the the calling the audience. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm writing notes. Okay. Yeah. Um. So okay. Uh. So I. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think I didn't get him to talk enough. It was a little bit sure. weird that I did this whole thing, and I and I and I didn't I didn't really get it chat with him enough. Um, but uh, <laughs> they want to try. Yeah, no, that is, that is big. But um, I also like I think also like I feel like the 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 like when I dropped and I rolled it like. Like, that also kind of, it falls flat, and now it's kind of got this awkward end. I remember, like, Shun was texting me, and we're trying to, like, figure out a way. To, he's trying to help me, like, solidify that punchline better to make it more of, like, a, a moment yeah. to laugh at. Uh, and, like, I... Yeah, so no, I have some thoughts. So we call this audience member up. So the scene was about us talking about fire. Now the scene is up, is we literally have someone on stage. The scene is about this interview. Uh, so we go back to the fire thing, but by now it's like, oh yeah, wasn't that chapter two? We're in chapter six by now. We're not primed to be thinking about that. Uh, so the first few moments of the payoff, the is like, oh shit, what is he doing? Oh, oh, he's doing this stop, drop, and roll thing. Oh, did, so the audience is trying to like think all these things. It could have been solved in ways of like, hey, now, what was the audience member's name that we called? Tom? Yeah, some Tom, I think. Tom, Tom you're like, hey, Tom, can you set me on fire real fast in the middle of this conversation at any time? You can give them agency. Just like, pretend to set me on fire. I'm just talking about uh, you set me on fire. Then it'll happen, and then we're making it live and visceral with the audience, So, and we've preempted them to know that this is going to be about the fire bit, and we've then used the audience so it makes sense because kind of the audience is like, well, why did they call call him up? You could have done that with him in the seat. Why, why, you know, you know, saying versus if we make them intrinsically part of the scene, that sort of resolves that tension too that the audience might be thinking. Mm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's a bit, it's a bit too much going on in their heads at the same time. Um, yeah. Mm 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 mm. I still feel like it's tricky because even then, I'm like, I'm like trying to play out like what what that scenario would look like if I did it like that. And it's like even then, like, there's just so much room for error in this joke. Sure. Which is fine. That's calm. That's stand up, right? But like, um, if I'm gonna play this game where I invite somebody on stage, I'm I'm asking for it, right? Um, I mean, look, look, we could do yeah. that. Like, the, so it's like there's the joke of we want to talk to someone and make it the stop, drop, and roll suddenly incepted. That's one joke. There's also this big joke of calling someone up on stage that we could play other things. Hey, what's your name? Come on down. You're the next contestant on Price is Right and let them have their Price is Right moment. Boop, boop, boop. Mm-hmm. You can even interview where you guys from. Oh, let's see if they get to win the big prize of being funny. And then you can make make that its own joke and then go back to the fire uh, and so like play a different game. But they are two separate jokes right now that are sort of all like silly putty together at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. I definitely, I, it makes me really excited to do this again, and like, because it kind of forces me to, to crowd work, right? Like, I'm yeah. forced to do it, right, in this scenario. Um, so, like, I definitely want to do this again um, at the next laughter party. I would love to, like, work some work some shenanigans up with some an audience member, bring somebody up, you know, whatever, and then, like, you know, uh, see where it goes, and, like, work that muscle of, like, okay, well, how, how do I do this? And if I feel like now my joke isn't going to work, like worst case scenario, right? If like my out doesn't work, finding a way out, 
Um, and that could just be something that I think is like, if it's just personable, honestly, if it's super personable and charismatic, it doesn't necessarily need to be super funny. Sure. Yeah. I, but, um, but I, I, I do want to work the muscle of, of being able to do that. That, uh, that is, that is, I think very, said, but hard to do. Um, so I think that this, this, this material is like a great way for me to like practice all these muscles. Um, that being said, uh, an, another thing, um, what I, I wrote notes for my, uh, yeah, I didn't get him to talk enough. Uh, sure. That's something that I could get with practice, right? Yeah. To, to all the things that we're like pooping on right now, we did do a really good job of like home field uh, advantage, playing with the audience, playing with what they know, making sure we use the knowledge that we know they know and seem like, like we, so it's like, yeah, we kind of ignored the audience for a bit, but we, because we kind of found this pocket of the Long Island joke. So I don't hate that we sort of like follow that wave a little bit. Uh, 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 and yeah, he's the audience member joke suffered because of it, but we did a really great job uh, uh, of, um, of, you know, riding that wave. And yeah, from chat, thank huge, you. Res huge respect for the risk he took. Yeah, 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 great. Thank you, thank uh, you. Uh, yeah, I, I do, I do feel good about this whole move. I think it, I, it was, it was a win overall. The, I, the I, w I, for I, me. I 100% agree. Like, yeah, there's optimizations we could be made, but definitely we got more gold than we spent on on, yeah. on that move as, as a whole. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um. Oh, also, uh, I think it would be an, uh, uh, an interesting thing to analyze. I kind of want to know your thoughts. On that. Okay. If you go back a little bit, I okay. paved over a joke that didn't land. I don't remember what the joke was, but like it's like, like as soon as I call him up, uh, or, or I think right before it, what did I do? Okay, let's let's check it out. Okay. I was looking for a random. Be good. Oh, you fucking terrible. I think it's a little bit before. A little bit before. A little bit before. Okay, okay. Let's check it out. Right. <laughs> if there's a time to be on fire, or it's not that bad. The shower <laughs> thing. I did all the shower. So work. if I somehow caught fire in the shower, it's. I'm still going to stop and acknowledge the fire before I move on to conditioner. Do you know what I mean? I'm not skipping the first step of stop, drop, and roll no matter what. You physically can't if you try. Like So, like, there's nothing funny here happening. There's no laughs. There's nothing happening. Right? So, like, now I just, I've just said tons of words, right? <laughs> <laughs> I said so many words with yeah. no laughs. And I'm like, cool. And, like, I... I, I I was like, okay, maybe people will think it's funny. And I, I have gotten laughs from it before of going, uh, I would still stop to acknowledge the fire before I move on to conditioner. And I've gotten laughs from that before. And that's kind of what like what, like the intent was. Doesn't pan out that way here. And I'm like, okay. And so like I try to like keep it moving and pave past it. So I'm like wondering like, one, what are ways to optimize that joke if it's not sure. Uh, or if it's not working consistently here, right? Uh, and two, um, was that a good getaway? Because I feel like I kind of ghosted through that and nobody really noticed it. Oh, yeah. Because we made, ah. it, we made, we made it about this audience thing, the, uh, the audience forgot that we maybe ate a little bit of poopy right before the big audience <laughs> moment. I think there's an opportunity for a song and dance thing about like, look, best case scenario, you're in the shower. That's like that's that's a huge premise that we don't really pay off of. Like, what is the mm. idea of being on fire? Is it the shower? Is it out in the rain? Is it in the uh. middle of a bath? Is it like that's not like the audience might have ideas on that, and we can play with that idea. Uh, the best time to get on fire is when you're already on fire. Ooh, can't be on fire twice. I don't know, but like we could really play with that thing about like where is the best time to be on fire. And you'd be like, in, the, in the shower, I'd still stop, drop, and roll. On the bath, I, I'd already dropped. It's, I'm, I'm pre-dropped. Great. Uh, oh, if, if, I'm in the, if I'm in the rain, yeah, I'll splash in some puddles. And we can sort of like preempt or ju jump on the logic about like, even in these best case scenarios, I would still stop whatever it is. Like, oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm at the fire department. Yeah, I'd, I'd still stop giving them pamphlets to make sure that I dropped it or whatever. Uh, uh, so it's more about the... The look, this location still would stop. This location it, still would it, stop. It, it, it. This location still would stop. And the game then becomes about like fun places to be on fire. Okay. As, okay. as, as one potential option of a different I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, or, yeah. Or the op the option is like, even best case scenario, I'm not going to continue with the shower. la di da di da Fire! Ah! la di da di Oh! la di do di do Ah! Fire! Well, I gotta rinse and repeat, like you know, or like mm, showing us mm. the idea of like that of what it would look like if you did not stop. As another option, as another option. 
Um, very, very. It's very theatrical, but you know. Yeah, no, but uh, yeah, no, that's interesting because it makes it makes me think like what fundamentally does make this work, and like I see why I see why those are better. And I'm kind of like the bigger comedy logic question as to like understand yeah. how to diagnose. Yeah, I think the thing is we're doing these very uh, dense logical ideas, and I think what would serve us best is after we like here's a big deep philosophical concept. How can I get the silliest clown performance visceral showing you of that after the fact as a payoff instead of making you work now even harder with more ideas to then fight this other idea that I'm making you hold in your head? To you get what I'm saying? It's true. It's also a very visual idea. It's a very like this is a very like this has a lot of imagery. And then, I... yeah, yeah. There's also yeah. an idea like if, if I was, look, 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 if I was on fire in the shower, la 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 la, ah, yeah. and then you can just like tilt the shower head down. Like I'm trying to get it on the screen. You just be like yeah. ah, right, ah, right, yeah. Like there is like a little, you know, like you know, how do, easily this, the do. problem would be solved in the shower. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I would still do something about it, right? So, uh, yeah, there's, yeah, act out is a good way to kind of, like, ease the imagery that has to go on in the audience. That also, like, I, I like your idea about, like, it's also just dense of a concept because I'm, like, it, it begs the question of, of silly places to fire, right? Yeah. And it's, like, if you if I break that down, then I can I can probably get away with, with this joke a lot better, right? Um, yeah, okay, interesting. Okay, yeah, let's, let's see where I think uh, it left off. It was, it was a conversation. Let's turn to Tom. Tom. My guy Tom. Like, let's... It's me telling the last comment to get the fuck off the stage. No. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Oh, I would have loved if you like, that's me telling the last comment to get off the stage. Get the fuck off the stage, last comic! Or like, get the fuck off the stage, comic. Wait, but I'm the current comic. Yeah, get off the stage. Oh shit, that means I have to, like, we could we could have turned that mistake into a blessing if we, you know, if we were ready to ride that wave and make the scene about something else aggressively and then come back to whatever the other joke is. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Just to say, what's it? Easy, easy to do sitting in our chairs, like, oh, ha, 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 hard uh. to be I still like I still like that we we were just vulnerable with the audience. We we called it out and we like we're like, hey, let's acknowledge this. Let's resolve it. Love that instinct uh, uh, at the you know at the, the the bare minimum of what what needs to be done of that tension resolving was done so we're you know not, no harm no foul that something went awry. Let's say uh, like all right, so we can all agree that we can reduce this right. Instead of stop, drop, and roll, it should just be drop, 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 roll. roll. I don't like where your head's at, <laughs> <laughs> but I got bad news for you. <laughs> Also, fuck that. Bro, don't you think drop is implied? <laughs> I don't think I could. Do you guys think I could have done any of that without dropping first? <laughs> With my acrobat? <laughs> Let alone one that's on fire. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, I would have loved if we're like, let me try. Oh, even if we did like silly slow motion, like, oh, 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 where has my comedy career come to? Oh, 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 this is not fast enough to put out a fire. Oh, like even like, like something like that to like show this idea instead of just like, uh, say, uh, uh, although chat says he is very cool. Uh, yes, he is. Thank you. Um. Uh, yeah, so your thoughts on this, 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 yeah, drop is implied, joke. Um, yeah, I think I should just cut down the the word economy on this, could just be yeah. like, ah, I could have cut like 40% of that <laughs> out. Um, it's not just like the ums and the us, it's also just like things, but, um, that's, that's repetitions, that's a repetition thing. Yeah. Um, so, we yeah. Can also, we can also drop the drop. <laughs> Yeah, try to right. I, I, I don't know, it might be too cute. Uh, but, um, I, uh, anyways, uh, just like Abe, why don't we do transitions? Just like, just like, it's funny little ideas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know 
Once well, again, now the scene is about you don't do transitions. If we were in our improv game, like I don't do transitions, just little ideas. You guys ever ate a cake? Who even think about dinosaurs? You know, last week I was in the car. Oh man, blue -dee, blue -dee, blue. Am I right, audience? Like the scene for this moment is now yes. no transitions. Yes, so, that like, is the new play game. Play that out before we move to the next thing. Uh, You're right. I should have totally done. And then that's such an easy game to play, right? Yeah. Once well, again, okay. easy to do us now sitting back without the the oh the time and oh the audience and oh I gotta get I gotta set up the next words but in the the audience doesn't know that they don't know how it's supposed to go so as far as they know that moment was about I no transitions yeah 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 something to think about one thing you can you can get it but you know just want to point it out yeah uh, no no I, I I do appreciate you pointing out oh should be aware yeah. moment uh, yeah right. <laughs> Uh, to chat, yes, so much is going on uh, via multi I feel like, I gotta, I gotta play with the audience, check in with the audience, yeah. my technique, prepare the next bit, make sure the last bit was okay, did the audience just say something, do I need to react, okay, now you're this, how do I look physically, like, yeah, yeah, so much, so much. Yeah, yeah. chat, are you, are you a comic, uh, Francesco? I, I don't think, they, they know some co comedy theory, uh, they definitely have thoughts and ideas that I, I respect, but I don't know oh, yeah. if, uh, actual proper, like, stand-up stand -up. You guys watch Netflix? Okay. What do, we, what do you watch on Netflix? Shut up. Wow. <laughs> 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 Me, I watch more. Oh, this really cool show you should What do you watch? <laughs> Wait, what? Erased. Erased? Okay, what else do we watch? So, so, you know what's, you know what's funny? We talked about how like you're too pro you're too pretty to get on the, the comedy. You should have made that moment about transitions. But you just did the exact move we were alluding to with asking the audience for what do you guys watch on Netflix? And then they're kind of timid. They're like, I don't know. And you immediately jumped on it comedically, like blue dee blue blue blue. Yeah, 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 black dee blue dee blue blue. That's the exact move we wanted you to pull. <laughs> Literally two seconds before, so it's like you had the instincts, you did the move, you just pulled it on the exact next sentence. So like you know, it's it's funny I, that we mention it, and then you do the exact. You're like, yeah, I should do that. You know, I should have done it. Like, yeah, yeah, and then you do it. <laughs> so so congrats, congrats for noticing that. Like, okay, I want to do this big Netflix bit, but in this moment, the game is about audience being shy. Let's jump yeah, on yeah. it. Let's explode it out, and let's go to the next thing. So like, identify you know, the game in the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love that. I'm gonna watch that again. Uh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, but um, I uh, anyways, uh. Just like, hey, why don't we do transitions? Just like, just like it's funny little ideas. <laughs> uh, you guys watch Netflix? Yes. What, do we, what do we watch on Netflix? Shut up. Uh, 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 me, I watch. Oh, 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 oh. oh, this is really cool show you see. What do you watch? <laughs> What? Erased. Erased? Okay, what else do we watch? Erased. Castlevania One Piece? What else we got? The Last Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A lot of, a lot of anime. Okay. Okay. Alright. So, Holes. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, if we're having a little Holes! I watched that too, but not on Netflix. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You want it, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah, who, who knows if it'll be yeah, but yeah, 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 easy. Whatever, I do improv. Uh, but yeah, great, great job. <laughs> great, yeah, great job, great job getting, like, we got that out of the audience because we played that game about before. Uh, love yeah. that. Good shit. I, uh, I, no, I love it. I've, I've been watching um, some bullshit, watch Castlevania. People like to tell me to stop my anime. Fuck those guys. Um, <laughs> Scott Pilgrim, you know. Uh, but uh, I feel like. I feel like Netflix, like, <sighs> dating somebody is kind of like having a Netflix. Because, like, you get three nights and then you have to decide whether or not you want to subscribe. And I'm just not ready for that commitment, you know? And it springs it on you and you have to, like, jump and then, like, all right, fine. And you, you jump into it. And it's like, I don't know. I get set up on a lot of blind dates. You guys ever have your friends set you up, like, try to set you up before? Anybody else? <laughs> no, no, I find people just fine. Thanks, Corby. Personally. Nobody's giving me handouts. <laughs> um, well, shit, some of us need a little bit of handicap, I guess. So everyone's always like, you know, Corby, you'd be, you'd be so great for my friend. Um, and I, I'm always wondering, like, how does this, like, what do these conversations with your friends look like when you guys try to set me up with them? You know what I mean? Like... Okay, uh, th thoughts on... Just the start of the Netflix thing so far up to blind dates. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of premises. Boom, boom. Yeah, right. So, uh, 
yeah, I totally whiplash into the <laughs> into the next um thing. But uh, yeah, I also I had a joke that kind of didn't go over, and I'm like, okay, cool, cool just moving. Um, where I was like, oh, it's like you three nights, then you have to subscribe. Giggles, uh, okay, keep it moving. And then I'm like, I think leading up to that before that too, I was just kind of like asking the audience where they watch, right? And I'm like acknowledging it, right? So I'm doing kind of an, uh, of a pretty good job, right? At that point, right? Just kind of not, yeah, okay, there's a lot of anime, sure, right? Yeah, yeah. You like that? You like that? Okay, that's cool, that's cool. I've never seen it myself, whatever. And then I'm like, I get, I kind of get into like um, a situation where I'm like, I deflate the momentum of the room. Yeah, when, and you, when you're like, I've been, watching, I've been watching Castlevania, I don't know, anime, I don't know, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, you kind of like disappeared in yourself yeah. for a second when you did Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Because I'm like gathering my thoughts and then like I'm doing this thing where I'm going, like, oh, okay, 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 get back on the track, get back on the track, what's the next bit? What's the next piece of this oh. material, right? And it's yeah. like, cool, I had all this momentum and like, in a perfect world, right? I would have been able to just just go, just quite simply just do the material, right? Right after yeah. that. And it, it should have worked, right? But uh, I, th I think at that moment, I was like, okay, make sure I know exactly what I'm going to say. And so I'm like, yeah, name a few shows that I've watched. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Here's a big premise. Having a Netflix is like dating or whatever the yeah. fuck it is. I actually right? really like I really like the way you introduced that premise. You said it nice and clear, and you even did a hand gesture of like, okay, I'm gonna let that set. I really liked how we established the just the clear premise. Uh, Once I got it out, I was like, oh thank God, I got it out. Let me make sure this is set this settles with everybody. But yeah. the road to it was was rough. But yeah. yeah. Once I'm once we're there, I think we're kind of there. Yeah. And then the moment that it was whiplash is when you're like, hey, having a relationship was like, it's like having a Netflix is like being in a relationship with her. Great. We let that settle. Subscription joke didn't land as heavy as it could, but still great, great, great. Then all of a sudden it's like, have you ever been set up on a blind date? I'm like, okay, new premise, different premise. How does this relate to old premise? Okay. Then we did a great job playing with the audience, but I'm still, my part of mind is like, what happened to the Netflix thing? Oh, this blind date now? Blind date now. Now a Netflix thing? Is this a th what's yeah. this? What happened to Netflix thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, For sure. Yeah, I, I was like, I was like grasping at straws there. I was like, okay, well, how can I make sure everyone's on the same page? I was like, it's like I knew that I was like, I'm not going to get to this next thing smooth by by holding on to this uh, dating is like having a Netflix. Really, I should have totally been able to do that. <laughs> yeah, this is a lack of rehearsal, right? <laughs> uh, where, where I was like, okay, fine, and like. I like compromise with myself. I'm like, fine. I'll introduce a new premise where I know that I can get back on track. And it was like, I kind of like saved myself by doing like playing with the audience a little bit, which is good, but uh, it's a rock. I like gave myself an artificial rocky start for no reason here. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Uh, you hear it beeping. I don't hear a beeping. Other people in chat. Do we hear a beeping? Or, or is this as a joke to try to get me to suddenly... Uh, 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 I don't know what you're playing at. <laughs> Insane, guys. Uh, because I feel like that's also like Netflix, you know? Oh it's got, like, tags and descriptions. Okay, it's no, like, uh, uh, uh... What's what? Uh, what's your name in the, in the room? Me? Yeah. Andrea. Andrea. All right, Andrea. So, like, let, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... You know me. Yeah. I, <laughs> the room doesn't know you! I really set myself up, didn't I? So, okay, Andre, let's, 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 I'm gonna do an impression of our mutual friends trying to set us up for each other, right? I think I could have, I think I could have done this way better, right? Because there's a lot of honesty in, like, me not remembering people's names, right? And I didn't remember her name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and so I was using it as, like, I was like, oh, you know, I'm using the room, right? But like I knew this girl, I knew I did. I should know her name. I was just a friend of a friend, right? Um, but like, I think I should have totally just leaned into it. I could have made a whole thing out of that, right? Like honestly, probably without that much work. But I didn't, didn't. And I'm so I'm gonna kind of beat myself. I'm like, oh, that was such a good golden opportunity 
to make something out of that and not remembering her names and like that's you know I I I, I wish I did I wish I because that's also like a relatable thing not remembering people's names right whatever yeah uh, yeah by the way I'm Colby uh, but I do remember Tom my good friend Tom who I've known for four minutes oh I remember Tom in that moment we shared together yeah if we were in complete control of what we could do oh yeah that would have been yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Of our mutual friends trying to set us up for each other, right? So, <laughs> so like, I imagine what it's like is like, oh, uh, you know, recommended for Andrea, broke comedian fuckboys, because you like psychological horror. <laughs> Have you met my friend Colby Blanchardo? He's coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Another comic the other night was like, you know, Colby, I challenge you to rewrite that one better. I think you can come up with something more clever. Fuck that guy. Um, I'm coming soon. That's it was AJ. Uh, <laughs> Great. So your thoughts on uh, uh, this joke and this playing and this I, making the joke, which is kind of like a womp joke, but it landed in the audience, and then it's commenting on it, so it's riding that wave with it, which I really like, yeah. I feel, I feel really good about it. Um, I, feel like I, I knew I was kind of playing a dangerous game, so I was like, do I really want to talk about how I'm not going to, like, how I didn't rewrite the joke? Oh, ah, and I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Um, by the way, that was uh, AJ, who challenged me to rewrite the coming soon bit. He's like, oh, you're so yeah. good at wordplay, and you're doing it, like, a, a million times in this bit. He's like, you could totally do better than coming soon. And he said that in one of these sessions oh, with I Will. Hey, hey, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Uh, and I didn't. <laughs> at, at, at AJ. Uh, hey, hey, uh, if, if no one takes the low-hanging fruit, it just stays there. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just more, yeah, yeah I, like, I, I like I like all this. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, great. Uh, so like... And, and I like the safety valve. I, even if it wasn't this audience, I like the safety valve of like, oh, another comic told me not to do that. Because if the audience is like, oh boy, then immediately yeah. we get to buy in with honesty dollars and then double down after we've gotten honesty uh, and we get to play it again and be like, I'm doing this joke for me. So like, I, 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 I like yeah. that move because we get to do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, so like, I, uh, do you guys ever like, ever like, like get into fights with your Netflix, or like you know break up with somebody, you know like you you your net my Netflix broke up with me, and it was is a, a whole is a whole thing. Um, like I stopped giving my Netflix money, and oh where the fuck did Netflix go? Crazy how that works out. Were you even seeing me for me Netflix? Guess fucking not. And it was an email, like cold hearted bitch Netflix. So I, but I I was really I was I was in a shitty situation, dude. Netflix really was not letting me get away with fucking anything, guys. My Netflix was like, you know, Colby, you got a lot of unsolved mysteries for somebody such a big mouth. You thought I was gonna buy all of your lies in one piece? Get the fuck out of here. You must have thought my love is blind. Don't expect me to believe that you're on the Outer Banks every Wednesday with your trailer park boys. I thought I'd seen Stranger Things, but this is worse than when I caught you with Emily in Paris! <laughs> this is quite the series of unfortunate events! <laughs> Call me! I think you should leave. <laughs> I am... Um... I'm not... I'm not very smart, but I, I have a very particular kind of intelligence. Uh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah but, well, I, I, there's so much I can say about that, but your thoughts on that, that Tyrone, before I, I go into it. So I, um, yeah, I mean, I feel great about it, but I'm like, of course, I'm thinking of like optimization, right? And I'm like, okay, in that moment, there's maybe just something that you emphasize a little bit more to kind of get like some better pacing and some kind of, you know, a wave to ride. And like, I think I could have like, I'm just, I'm nipping like optimization. I think. Uh, I think it went really well. Um, the stuff leading up to like the, like before, like the big run, right. That I'm doing, I thought was like, okay. 
<laughs> I, like, it's getting consistent laughs, and I'm actually like really proud of it uh, for doing that. Um, I remember talk, talking with you and AJ, and I was like, I want to do something more aggressive with this material, and I couldn't figure out how. And um, this is something that's like less expressive but funnier. Uh, whereas, like, if I talked about my real dating experiences and this, it was just super, super premise dense and like, like really con like heavy concepts. And like, I, I haven't cracked how to do that. And I'm kind of like, I've kind of resided with myself that I'm like, okay, if I want, I think this is just too dense of a thing. And I'm like, kind of a ham fist in my own experiences into it. So if I do want to do a version of this, right, I, I talk about my personal experiences and thoughts and feelings a little bit more like honestly, I think I would have to, I think I'd have to do it in, in a different bit. I'd have to reapproach it fundamentally. It's just sure. simply too much going on in this. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's my thought. It's funny you're, you're like nitpicking your, especially your entry into it. I really liked how we were riding that wave and how I was going to say like the performance really helps support that, you know, this writing is strong. We could probably get away with it just like even reading it like this. The words are strong enough, probably would have landed. But I really liked that. And we, we, we took good pauses when the audience was starting to laugh. But then we, we kept up the pace as soon as like they sort of died down a little. And it allowed us to sort of like build the momentum into the big, in the blah, 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 big payoff, big payoff. So like I, I really I really like the whole culmination. Yeah, is there better ways we could have done it? Yeah, probably. But like this yeah. is you know, like it's not gonna get you know much much better as far as like the the it's always gonna get a little bloody when we when we actually do it live and so like yeah, I'll I'll take this any day. Uh, oh so yeah, like, no, like, I'm happy with it. Yeah. But just um, optimizations will opti the perfect yeah, yeah. run. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. A boy can pers dream. Personal best world record. Uh, from also yeah, from yeah. chat chat from Gordov. Um, there's the Netflix. You need to chill. Like somehow we'd be like Netflix and chill. No Netflix. You should chill. Uh, ah. uh, maybe a maybe a thing too. Yeah. Uh, you could also retort from the Netflix me. Uh, oh, uh, from Netflix me Netflix you Netflix chill. Uh, uh, I, it's I hard to hard to get that that joke just by uh, the written word grab. Um, uh, I I think I understand. Um, I I put the ten in uh, incompetent. Uh, so uh, so uh, my my mom's here tonight, guys. Get, get it from my mom. Thank you. I love talking shit about my mom. Here we go. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I'm white. Uh, so, uh, uh, when I was uh, when I was a kid, right? I um, the school said I had to see a special doctor, uh, which uh, was like exciting for me because I was young and naive, and I was like, holy shit, I'm like getting into Hogwarts. I'm getting my. <laughs> I'm getting my starter Pokemon. I'm getting into like X Men Academy, right? So uh, my mom's like, "You gotta come to the doctor with me." So we 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 walk in. I'm like, "The fuck is good, Doc? What are we working with? X ray vision, super strength, invisibility?" Because ADHD stopped moving. <laughs> I was like, "Doc, I don't I, I don't understand." And he goes, "That's natural. If you do not understand." You have a learning disability. <laughs> so he spells it out for me. He goes, uh, you have uh, attention deficit hyperactive disorder. Um, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so all I heard was hyperactive. And I was like, I'm getting a Nike Yale. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay, Super Kate, sure. And he's like, I might have to like really break this down for you. He's like, all right. You need to understand that you're not like the other uh, children at school. And I'm like, I'm fucking... you hear that, mom? A doctor said I can build different. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor's like, yeah, 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 sure, okay, super kid. Uh, look, uh, everyone's brain is built different. And the thing you need to understand about yours is that it was built with an OSHA violation. <laughs> So you're gonna need to, to uh, take something every day to help you get through it. Um, like Cyclops from the X-Men. He needs to wear glasses on his face all the time to keep the lasers from shooting out of his eyes. I'm 
hyperactive. Dip, 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 dip. So I'm going to need to wear wigs all the time to keep me from moving too fast. <laughs> My fucking pediatrician <laughs> was like, it's like Adderall all the time. <laughs> to keep you from doing this shit in my office. <laughs> uh, it was, it was, it was, uh, no, growing up was, was a little tricky. Um, cause I, I had great, I had loving, great parents growing up, but, uh, when they beat the shit out of me, <laughs> it comes, I deserved it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the thing is, um, my, uh, my, my dad had, uh, the, my, the way my dad would hit me was very different than the way my mom would hit me, um, in this essay. Okay, 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 thoughts to the whole, whew, uh, uh, <laughs> multitasking and doing administrative stuff at the same time. Your thoughts on, uh, the sort of, uh, hyperactive, uh, joke. Yeah, no, uh, you're really impressive, by the way. I see you interact with the chat, like, how the fuck do you do this, and then give back and analyze stand up. <laughs> that was really um, uh, and like respond to all the Discord. <laughs> um, so this is like really old material that I'm just, I'm like incredibly, insanely comfortable with. Um, like it's like back of my hand. I it, So whenever I'm doing this, I'm like, okay, cool. I kind of just like fuck around with it uh, and have fun. Um, my my only thing is like I'm not really interacting with the audience a whole lot here, um, and I think it's because the way I've the way I practiced this bit was before I kind of got more into crowd work, so it's but it, it's reliably like it performs well pretty much always, right? So I'm like, ah! <laughs> like yeah. ah, you know, like I I would like to at least like nod and acknowledge and like give a little something to the crowd more um when i do this uh this kind of like old material like this that's my only nitpick otherwise i think it's going great sure yeah 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 uh yeah it's a little it's a little old habit and i don't say that like old habit is a, a, is a terrible terrible thing but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, it is. It is sort of like one, one second as I check something. Okay. Uh, uh, just for time's sake, because we got a, a, a backlog. This is like the first half of the video. We still got like yeah, ten very long. minutes of of stand up uh, left. So uh, thoughts to sort of conclude this first half. We can do the second half another time. But any thoughts, comments, concerns, just anything to wrap in a bow. Us having watched uh, this first half uh, of the stand set. No. Not really. Um, and the rest of it, honestly, is like stuff that I also feel pretty good about. So like, it's like it's like also I'm just doing old material from that point. So gotcha. like that. Uh, that was the, that was all the stuff that I really wanted to review. Um, sure. Great. Yeah, I'm hoping to do uh, Netflix and like Fire. But I really want to do Fire, and then like whatever else I can fit in within like a reasonable time. Yeah. I like, Party. I mean, technically, all the stuff that we did before your old material would fit in a laughter party length set. So, like, yeah, you know, just a yeah. thought. All right, great. Okay. So, because because for the YouTube video later. Hey, if you're watching this far, thank you so much. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, hit that noti bell. Both of our socials will be in the description if you want to see more comedy from either of us. Uh, more videos are probably appearing right now. And Colby, any words of uh, like goodbye? Um, uh, I love you. Mwah.